When you look up into the night sky, it's obvious that no two stars are the same. There are bright ones, there are dim ones, and there's countless others that we can't even see without the aid of a telescope. The brightness of these stars is measured using something called magnitude. There are two methods of measuring magnitude, apparent and absolute. The more common of the two is apparent magnitude, and it's been around for over 2,000 years, ever since a Greek astronomer named Hipparchus created a catalog of all the stars and organized them by their brightness. He called the brightest stars first magnitude and the dimmest stars sixth magnitude. Now, this was not a particularly accurate way of measuring brightness, but later astronomers took the system and improved upon it. They created a logarithmic scale so that every increase of one in the magnitude scale equated to about two and a half times decrease in brightness. So something that's magnitude five would be 100 times dimmer than something that's magnitude zero. But since apparent magnitude is influenced both by the star's luminosity and by its distance to the Earth, it isn't an accurate scale of how much light a star is actually giving off. To better compare these, we use a different measurement. Absolute magnitude calculates what a star's apparent magnitude would be if it was exactly 10 parsecs away from Earth, which is equivalent to about 33 light years. This eliminates distance as a factor for comparative brightness, which allows us to more accurately measure how much light a star is giving off. Both types of magnitudes are still used widely today, and any catalog of space objects can help you go outside and experience these scales yourself.